Yo guys, and on today's video, I will be talking about a massive Bitcoin breakout that is currently about to be happening here on this 4 hourly time frame. Are we going to be looking for a bullish breakout or bearish breakout? I will be talking about my exact price targets I'm currently looking for. As well, I will be talking about Plan B, what shared a very interesting chart about Bitcoin and the S&P 500. The right now basically shows us that Bitcoin is on these closing stages, of course, uh, of decoupling from the S&P 500. At the same time, we're seeing that massive, massive Bitcoin wheels are accumulating in a pace never seen before. And this is, of course, a time to be paying attention towards the market because I would like to follow the smart money. At the same time, I will be talking about this historic Bitcoin pattern that is currently in creation. And of course, today it's pizza day. So guys, don't forget to right away slap up that like button on today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let's jump right away in towards the content. So of course, I've been talking about this symmetrical triangle for quite a while on the channel. And right now I am expecting that we are going to get that breakout either later today or of course beginning tomorrow. I am expecting a massive, massive breakout for Bitcoin and it's going to be very important to see where it is going to be breaking towards of course what it will be aiming for is of course hopefully a break towards the upside but if we're going to be of course really look at the odds it's more likely to be breaking towards the downside since we formed a downward sloping move for, uh, in towards the symmetrical triangle right now we're consolidating in the symmetrical triangle and of course due to that since we started a downtrend it is more likely to continue the downtrend after the symmetrical triangle so yeah we will be hoping to see a break towards the upside but if we do break down it wouldn't it should not really come as a big big surprise for bitcoin so of course if we are going to be breaking down we could be looking for a massive massive trading opportunity towards that lower side here because if we're going to be breaking down we will be looking for an approximately move of 13 percent towards the downside and i will be looking of course for a target around to 25k and of course i will be already starting to take more profits around the 26.2k for the bitcoin chart also if we do break bullish towards the upside we will be aiming for targets around to 34.5k and personally if we do break above the 33.1k level of resistance i expect that bitcoin is going to be stopped out somewhere around the 35k because that is my monthly resistance target for bitcoin this is going to be of course a very very big move here but if we're going to zoom also in a little bit more in towards that imminent short term on bitcoin right now we can see that on the one hour one hour time frame Bitcoin, of course, fell down massively from the higher side and right now is forming some kind of a bear flag. This is, of course, a little bit more of a bearish wise structure we're currently forming here. But I will be say, as long as Bitcoin hold up towards that 28.6k, it's going to be look alright. And, of course, as long as it's holding up this upper slope support line, it is going to be look, uh, looking alright. But so far, this is, of course, not looking all too strong for Bitcoin. This is a more typical bearish wise pattern and hopefully we can still support, find support on the lower side and bounce back towards higher regions, of course, for Bitcoin. At the same time, if we're going to look at the daily time frame, we can really see the daily time frame is really coming in towards an apex right now here. First of all, we do know that, of course, the RSI has been climbing over the recent hours, uh, sorry, the recent days here. And while that has been happening, Bitcoin fell down. So we are indeed forming a bullish divergence. And indeed, what we can see right now on this uh, on this chart is that basically Bitcoin is once again getting squeezed in towards an apex. We can see falling wedge is getting created from a downward slope support line, from a downward slope resist line. So yeah, there is definitely, of course, going to be an imminent breakout. And if Bitcoin does decide to be breaking this daily... Um, downtrend we could be looking of course for way higher targets this is a more typical bullish bias pattern it's more kind of a falling wedge and of course falling wedges are more kind of a yeah bullish bias breakout targets bullish bias reversal pattern so that's pretty interesting to see right now playing out on bitcoin also still taking in consideration that bitcoin is still forming this bullish divergence from low to um to a higher low in the market and from lower low to lower low in the price section so that is pretty interesting this could be of course still spell some uh, positivity across the market and this could be leading towards higher targets and guys if you're still watching towards this video i will be highly um, yeah would highly appreciate if you can right now also smash up that like button and let me know in the comment section about where i should be talking about on my next video also going further in towards the content you can clearly see on the weekly time frame right now, Bitcoin is about to form its eighth weekly uh, candle in a row that is closing red. That has never happened before in history for Bitcoin. 
the yeah previous record was seven in a row and of course that record we said last week on the close and the record before was six uh, weekly candles in, a, in, in red and that was of course approximately back in 2014 so hopefully if Bitcoin is going to close at eight weekly candles in a row red we can finally start to see a turnaround point getting started in towards next week here that will be of course highly appreciated if Bitcoin can start to do that but of course also what we are still looking at is that downward sloping support line over here, right? So will Bitcoin hold on towards this downward sloping support line? That's going to be the big, big question. Will we, once again, just like last week, guys, because last week we pumped in towards the weekly candle close. Will the same thing happen once again? That's going to be the question. But nevertheless, we are looking at the descending bouldering wedge here. And if we're looking at the descending bouldering wedge on Bitcoin, and that is, of course, why it's going to be important, that we're going to be bouncing on the lower side and really come back up again here so we can still find support on it. And once I'm talking about this, I want to be seeing a close above the 30.5k and looking at the 4 hourly candle, 30.5k is also going to be suggesting a bullish breakout. So if Bitcoin is going to save its weekly candle, it is also going to be having a bullish breakout in a 4 hour. And then we could be, of course, seeing even more continuations towards the upside. But nevertheless, this is, of course, a descending bouldering wedge. This is a more typical bullish bias continuation pattern. So hopefully we can really start to be bouncing from that lower side here. And of course, if we do get that first significant bounce, let's say to 37k, we are expecting, of course, to reach that higher resistance range around that 70 towards 80,000 US dollars. So that's definitely interesting, but that will be, of course, only getting anticipated if Bitcoin does decide to hold on towards this range on the lower side. At the same time, we're still looking at this multi-month consolidation phase for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is about to close its monthly time frame here in uh, nine days from now on. And of course, like I discussed in this photo here on my Twitter page. So don't forget to also follow me on Twitter here at RoverCRC. This is an historic Bitcoin pattern currently in creation, guys. This is a falling wedge and a falling wedge, guys, if you don't know yet, is a typical bullish bias reversal pattern. Many people don't really look at the monthly time frame, but I personally think the monthly time frame is the time frame to look at because look at this every single time bitcoin creates such kind of a huge pattern and of course look at also how more descending these patterns these symmetrical triangles are starting to get here right uh, pretty tight less tight less tight less tight and also you can see the upper slope support line very strong uh, yeah a little bit less strong a little bit less strong and right now it's descending pretty interesting and bitcoin of course is in different kind of markets than 2016 2014 you know because right now we've got of course the classic stock market attached towards it we've got many etfs we've got institutions and that is why we are already forming such kind of a huge huge uh yeah basically bitcoin multi-month consolidation phase so this is of course extremely exciting to see i am expecting a massive breakout of this pattern many people say oh why are you talking about bitcoin um on, on this bullish way i mean guys this is just exactly what we're seeing i'm just telling you what we're going to be seeing we are seeing a falling wedge a typical bullish bias pattern and of course do know that the lead in phase guys this is the lead in phase bitcoin of course on its um Falling wedge had a bullish bias lead in phase, then a consolidation phase, and then it will be probably have an exponential rally once again back towards the outside. That is how these falling wedges work on the monthly time frame. That is how every single falling wedge works here. So, guys, we had a good uh, leading phase. We are seeing a good consolidation phase. And right now, the third phase we're waiting for is that exponential rally. So, let's see if it's going to be happening. I will be, of course, extremely excited if we do decide to be breaking bullish from here on. Of course, this is on the monthly time frame. Frame. So I'm not saying we're going to bounce today, but I'm expecting that we're going to see some more positivity in towards Q3, Q4 for 2022 for Bitcoin. So that is very important to take in consideration. At the same time, we can currently see that Plan B tweeted about Bitcoin and the S&P 500. And you can see that every single time we print these dark blue dots here and we just printed the dark blue dot, Bitcoin tends to be, of course, decoupling from the S&P 500 and it tends to be rallying also against the S&P 500. So right now, Bitcoin is, of course, forming that dark blue dot here. And every single time we do that, Bitcoin tends to be rallying massively towards the upside. So guys, make sure to do whatever you feel comfortable with this but bitcoin is of course currently giving us a huge signal that it could start to potentially uh, create another massive move against the s p 500 and also looking at bitcoin against the s p 500 you can clearly see excuse me um i will be getting the chart up right now here you can clearly see that bitcoin is currently because i know this chart almost purely out of my head here in uh, in this period of time you can clearly see that bitcoin against the s p 500 is currently having a retest of its all-time high so with this in consideration retest of the bitcoin against s p chart and with that light, sorry, dark blue dot really getting printed right now, 
this is the perfect opportunity to of course look for a decoupling for bitcoin against that s p 500 and for bitcoin to finally rally again and nevertheless maybe the s p 500 goes in a bear market bitcoin could still perform very well here taking in consideration what we're all seeing right now so that is of course going to be very exciting to see here and uh, i definitely am a big big believer of bitcoin so i will be definitely believe this is also possible since we also have been doing this several times before in the past and then at the same time, we can currently see, I would like to follow the smart money. I've said it several times before, <clears throat> and right now we can clearly see smart money is buying. We are seeing that the massive amount of Bitcoin wills, basically Bitcoin address is holding more than 10,000 Bitcoin on their address, has been increasing massively over the course of the recent weeks here. You can clearly see price action drops here, wills start to uh, increase here. Price action increases, wills tends to be dropping off. You, right? you can see. So please, guys. Whether you are selling right now here, we've got the proof that you're probably selling to some very big wheels here. So if you're selling your Bitcoin right now here, you're probably selling towards some very, very large wheels here. I'm not saying the bottom is in here. I do say it's very close or it's potentially already in here. So yeah, please do what, yeah do your own research. But this is definitely, of course, important to know. You want to be following the smart money because historically speaking, it has been always a smart signal to do here. So guys, yeah, make sure to do whatever you feel comfortable with this information. But I'm definitely not selling right now. At the same time bitcoin fear and greed index we can see that we're currently are getting a reading of 14 across the fear and greed index particular low on the fear and greed index i must say here and this is of course still providing that huge opportunity last week we were trading on the single digit level around eight on the fear and greed index and that was of course the lowest reading since march 2020 what was of course the pandemic crash of bitcoin pretty interesting also to talk about also congratulations for everyone um today it's bitcoin pizza day here exactly in 2009 that the today only 13 years ago someone bought two bit two pizzas for 10,000 bitcoins what's nowadays worth approximately 300 million us dollars what is of course absolutely crazy guys what have we learned from this don't spend your bitcoin on pizza because it will be a very expensive less lesson so uh yeah pretty cool we're seeing this um yeah of course year to year coming back as a tradition for bitcoin at the same time guys if we are if you are interested on trading this breakout here um on bitcoin this breakout that is going to be either provide of course a 14 percent time price target towards the upside or 14% move towards the downside I would definitely suggest to check out Prime XPT right now here Prime XPT is of course definitely the platform to go with they are currently offering a 7,000 US dollar deposit bonus and of course you can not only trade Bitcoin but you can also trade equities, gold, and much, much more and against Bitcoin. So that's pretty cool. So if you're interested in that, check it out here. You can find in the link in the description over here. Prime XPT is currently offering you 7,000 US dollars in deposit bonuses. If you do use the, uh, the code Crypto Rover, definitely important to check out here. Also, other bonuses are getting found in the description right now. And guys, in the period where Bitcoin is trading below 30k, I think you should definitely, definitely make yeah benefit from these bonuses. Because you can literally, of course, deposit your money. You can get the bonus. You can trade with the bonus. And if you make profit from it, you can withdraw it. So it is definitely going to be a win-win. And in these periods where the market is, of course... And so much down i should highly recommend you benefit from it because i don't know for how long these high bonuses stay here and usually in a little bit of more bearish markets they tend to come down here so that's of course a very important notice but anyways guys thank you so much once again for watching towards this amazing new update here on the channel hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and if you did enjoy it make sure to smash up the like button and we'll catch you guys on the next one peace out goodbye